Cystic fibrosis is an inherited chronic disease that affects 30,000 Americans. It clogs the lungs and leads to life-threatening lung infections. A generation ago, most patients died in their teens or 20s. But today, there's new hope as many patients live into their late 30s and beyond. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. Right, secret. No! Oh, look at that. To watch George McDermott shooting hoops with his 10-year-old twin daughters, you'd never know that this North Arlington man has cystic fibrosis. You'd never know until he showed you the vest he straps on twice a day to loosen the mucus that's destroying his lungs. So it almost looks like a life jacket until you see these tremendous hoses coming out of it, right? It's like the, like the uh, astronauts. Sort of, that's what it resembles. Ten-year-old Brianna and her sister Cheyenne often keep their dad company while he uses the vest. It's the latest in chest physical therapy for cystic fibrosis patients. That's it. For 20 minutes, you sit here and you shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> in addition to the vest, McDermott takes 32 medications a day to help his body absorb food. That's a big issue for CF patients and to ward off deadly lung infections. It's a chronic progressive disease for which there is no cure. Take a big breath. Dr. Dorothy Bisberg is the cystic fibrosis director at St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston. It's the most common uh, life-shortening recessive disease of the Caucasian race. Dr. Bisberg explains that cystic fibrosis causes abnormal, sticky secretions that clog a CF patient's airway. You can see the wall of the airway is getting thicker. Many patients, including McDermott, are also battling CF-related diabetes. George's insulin pump gets tucked into a sock. The good news is that advances in research, medical treatment, nutrition, and a better understanding of cystic fibrosis have pushed the median age of survival to 37. George McDermott is 38. It's not something that I, that I like to think about, but I don't have any intentions of checking out anytime soon. McDermott is way too busy for that. Not only is he a North Arlington police dispatcher, he's a volunteer firefighter, EMT, and school board president. He still can do anything people tell him he can't do while doing it even better. McDermott's philosophy is inspirational. Don't allow cystic fibrosis to take over your life. Go out and do something and make cystic fibrosis fit in with what you want to do. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, North Arlington.